Hey guys, this is Izam and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this croissant fresh from the oven. I did this artwork using Affinity Designer on my iPad Pro. You can be using any kinds of iPad as long as Affinity Designer can be run on your device. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this particular artwork. This is the artwork on croissants. So I am going to, I'm just going to show you how to create this particular croissant, just one croissant and it's very easy. So I'm going to start a new document, just any kind of document. Croissants are actually crescent in English. So let's create a crescent and over here you can find crescent. Here you go. So draw a crescent. I'm going to change the color for a while. I'm just going to take this color and just going to draw a crescent. I'm just going to press my finger there to constrain the shape and I'm going to turn this around use a move tool and place it over here all right so this is just my crescent what are you uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to round off this corner all right so very simply what you do is tap on the crescent tool and then tap on to curve so now you will have this corner tool so tap on this corner and press one finger and tap on this corner to select both and now we can change the radius like that make it round round corners we're gonna have another um, piece of the croissant instead of instead of a crescent we're gonna have a trapezoid okay so just draw a trapezoid here like that a wide one we're going to rotate this trapezoid remember to tap on the move tool and then place it over here okay that is done make sure you have the snap tool on all right and now what we're going to do is we are going to round off the corner so to do this tap on the trapezoid tool and then tap on to curve so this will bring bring us to the node tool automatically the next thing we need to do is we need to resize this a little bit Okay, using the move tool and just drag it like that okay and maybe here just drag it over there all right let's have fun tap on the corner tool tap here 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 and here and let's bring up the radius like that when we're done the thing is we need to add two one two three four more points okay for more nodes so what we do is make sure you tap on the node tool and tap here right in the center tap here here and here and for this part just drag it up like that and for this you can drag it like that here I'm going to drag it maybe I'm going to drag it inwards and here I'm going to drag it inwards so now let's have some more fun <laughs> and tap on this node I'm going to increase the radius I'm just going to tap make sure you tap on the corner tool and let's bring it down just drag that node down we're going to make this corner here really roundish tap it and drag all the way like that and this one as well just tap and drag up all right and for this case let's just be like that okay and this one also and we are done for this particular thing so for this node I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna pull this in inwards a little bit and I'm going to round it off some more like that round it off like that so that it curves like inwards okay so this is done the next 
thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have another trapezoid so and tap on this trapezoid tool and let's draw another trapezoid we're going to snap a line center like that and we're going to move this I mean we're going to rotate this like that I'm going to oops, I'm going to resize like so and like this so that it's jutting out from the, uh, at the bottom like this like that so again tap on the trapezoid tool and tap the curve remember the node so tap on the node and we're going to tap on this point and this point and we're done the next thing we're going to do is at this point let's drag it up like that okay and at this point like this and now we're going to do the corner tool so tap this point and let's just bring it down like that this one as well bring it up for this corner let's bring it up as well so just look at what i'm doing tap here use one finger on the screen tap again to select both and tap another one to select this one and this one so we select the four and one go and just drag it in like that we are done so now let's color it in let's color this particular crescent first we're going to use the fill tool and we're going to change this to an elliptical gradient so for this gradient let's set the first color over here to okay let's just set it to this color okay so for this color over here we're going to set it to a more orangey color like that maybe a much redder hue okay that is done i'm just going to drag this drag this up bring it down and we are done for this let's have the fill tool again and ch oop, and change this to elliptical so the same way that the center color i'm going to choose this the edge color this all right and we are done mostly done of like that and we do the same for this particular one set the fill tool change this to elliptical center color is yellow the outer one will be this and we're mostly done i'm just going to bring bring this up drag this down and bring this over here and we are generally done but for this case i think this part is too big so we're going to make it smaller okay use the move tool drag it like that i'm using one finger on the screen to constrain the, the, the size this one as well i'm going to drag it like that drag it like that and then just move it and snap a line and this guy i'm just going to bring it down like so and i'm going to bring this up like that and i'm just going to make it a bit thinner like so and move it just let it snap right in the center and we are done mostly done i'm going to make this curve downwards i'm going to bring this node down and keep this curve all right so let's tap on the node tool tap on this node press one finger to select this node and let's move it downwards like that okay and for this node over here in the middle i'm just going to bring it up and this node i'm just going to try and change the curve let's try and change the curve and bring it up like that but i'm just going to bring it closer inwards so this tool this node oops this node make sure you change this to the node tool and i'm going to bring it in i'm pressing one finger on the screen so that i uh, constrain my movement just on the horizontal axis this one as well move it in like that now we're going to change this particular guy i'm going to drag this and make it lower closer like that and then i'm going to make it curve in 
So to do that, I'm going to have another node here and here. And I'm going to drag this inwards and drag this inwards. And we're done. I'm going to curve it in. So I'm going to select this node. Tap again. Make sure you have the corner tool. Tap here and drag like that. Okay, I'm going to zoom out and drag out. And here, the same thing, drag out like that. And for this, I'm going to choose a node tool. I'm going to move it closer here. And this as well, move it closer. And for this point, I'm going to drag it out. Okay, and this point. I'm going to drag it inwards, make it rounder. Okay, somewhat okay. Alright, so now let's make a new layer. I'm going to draw the, um, the shiny part. Okay, so just select this rectangle tool and just proceed to create a rectangle like that. But make sure you change it to a rounded corner rectangle. And we're going to change the color to white and then change the opacity to about 40 tap on the move tool and bring it bring it down like that okay so this is done but we are going to curve it okay so what we do is tap on the rectangle tool and tap on to curve and now this point use the note tool tap on this point this point this and this one two three four now change it to smooth so now we have all these handles that we can adjust so just bring this up bring this up and this one as well for here we have a concave thing going on okay so for this part as well we're going to curve it so we need to select this node and this node and tap smooth and we are done for this side it's a bit too sharp i'm just going to bring this in and bring this in and this one drag it down make it curvy this one i think is fine okay we are done and that's for the for the shine i think i'm going to make it a bit thinner so i'm going to use the move tool and then i'm just going to drag like that and then this one, I'm just going to tap duplicate, I'm just going to drag it here, rotate a little bit, change the size, place it over, maybe not here, I'm just going to place it over here, okay, and we're done, okay, so far so good. So let's compare what we have over here, alright, so let's break it down, what we have. I have the reflections over here okay and I also have some um, splashes of paint over here to create that detail the texture and I think you should know by now how to do this it's basically a duplicate of circles so you just create circles okay let's check this out see all these are uh, ellipses circles which I have done and I grouped it into layers Alright, so you can play around with the uh, gradients. Okay, so what we have here is like that. Just you can play around and place it, the reflections, make it smaller. Okay, like that. Just place it over here and play with the gradient. Like that. And here as well. Okay, so that's it. All right, so that was the croissant. I hope you can follow through. If you can't, just rerun this video and try again. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe by clicking on that subscribe button down there. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.